Hello everyone and welcome back to Broken Sword 5. I am Exorf and uh, we are uh, trying to prove that this guy is the real owner of La Maledicio. Maledicio, whatever, however it's pronounced, the curse. Um, and uh, I don't know how much we have to go on, like we want to do it because uh, then <laughs> George doesn't have to pay out the insurance to the gallery. Uh, hey, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Yes, Josh. Oh, there's a lot to talk about. What do we know about this Madovsky character? Ronnie said he was dangerous and very rich. He claims to be the owner of La Maledixio. And appears to be the boss of Vera's security who were supposed to protect it. Now that kind of figures. The best way to steal something is to get hired to look after it. But why steal a painting you already own? We need to talk to this guy. To do that, we need to find him. Okay, I guess that gave us, us a pretty good uh, recap of where we were last time. So let's go over what we know about the thief. Okay, well, he had a distinctive tattoo on one arm. And his helmet had Waterloo motors across it. Not a lot to go on. Why would somebody steal their own painting? Insurance scam? But then why kill Henri? I get the impression that Henri was somehow involved. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Since he did uh, get killed. I found the gun that Henri was shot with at Vera Security. If Madoski owns Vera Security, it means that he must know the killer. Well, it can't be Annette, but she has to be involved in some way. Hmm. You said the thief had a tattoo. On his arm, it was a skull and crossbones with headhunters written around it. We need to track down Waterloo Motors. Have you tried the internet? I've been kind of busy. Okay, let's have a look. Let's Google it. Waterloo Station, Battle of Waterloo, Waterloo Kebabs, Waterloo Sunset, ah, uh, here we go. Waterloo Motors. It's a garage in London. I'll send the number to your phone. Hmm. We have to go all the way to London then? Oh, that's kind of nice actually. Uh, like, I, I'm enjoying being in Paris, but a big part of the charm of the Broken Sword series is like traveling around the world. Um, so I'm hoping we get some cool places to go in this uh, in this game. Uh, what else can we talk about? Yes. Um, is this just going to be the same thing all over again? I'm convinced that Annette knows more than she's letting on. Of course, but she's probably just trying to protect herself. Ronnie said that Madovsky was dangerous. She doesn't seem that like evil, I guess. The theft just doesn't add up. We'll get to the bottom of it, Charles. So, Waterloo Motors is a garage in London. Hmm, that's a surprise. Yes, I sent you their phone number. Maybe we could travel there <laughs> and then just discover that, oh, he just, like, had this helmet from ages ago or something like that. He ordered it from eBay. Why would anybody want to wear this stuff? Who knows? Just keep it away from me. What do you think of this, Nico? Not much, George. What do you think of this, Nico? I think you have an insatiable habit for collecting things, George. That's uh, accurate. What do you think of this, Nico? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do you? Okay, yes, this is all. I'm pretty surprised this default things held up so well in my pocket. Got to work on the small talk, George. <laughs> well, you're the one to talk. You're like, I got some gum on my press card. Hey, Nico, have I introduced you to Trevor? Oh, get that horrible thing away. Why is no one liking Trevor? Here's the proof that Henri was involved in the robbery. Interesting, but it doesn't help us find the killer. This paperclip is bound to come in useful. I just know it. Well, you've surprised me before, Georges. I'd keep it. Yeah, we already had use for it, but that does feel like an item we might 
use uh, even more of. Oh, now we can uh, look at the apartment from uh, from Georgia's perspective. We only saw it from Nico's perspective last time. Nico's camera was pretty old. I wished she could afford a new one. Nico's camera was... Because you really don't like old cameras or because she's poor and you feel bad about it? Nico had finally upgraded her computer. Nico had finally upgraded... And she said that this was nothing special? I don't know. It feels Nico's a bit inconsistent. Full of paper. No surprise there. No, I guess not. <laughs> it looked like Nico kept her most secret possessions close to her chest. Har har har. It looked like Nico. Uh, I guess that's it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. I was hoping we'd get like a lot of little, like, um, informational bits about Nico uh, as a person in her apartment. Senor Marquez. Yes, George. Would you like a biscuit? You want a cookie, Senor Marquez? No, it has been in your pocket and it's falling to pieces. <laughs> hey, Senor Marquez, meet Trevor. He is a cockroach in a box. He's my new pet. Accurate observation. I'm rather attached to him. I wonder if we can actually feed the cookie to the three cockroach, or are we just gonna keep it in the box forever? Um... I found some evidence that ties Henri to the Dodgy Security Company. That doesn't surprise me. It sounds as though the whole thing was set up. Uh, so let's just talk about the important things. Theo belongs to your family. He did. Once it was stolen, I did not believe I would ever see it again. You must have been excited to see the painting again. It was a miracle. You mentioned the Gnostics. What can you tell me about them? It is not important. A religious sect, that is all. My family were Gnostic. They were a peaceful, good people. I do feel like I've heard that name before. It's probably a fairly well-known uh, religious sect, I guess. Uh, or maybe it's just like I've heard the term Gnostic as the opposite of Agnostic. Um, yeah, let's just go through all of the other shit as well. What do you think of this? I would not use it to clean my shoes, monsieur. Hmm, well, to be honest, neither would I. Do you need to borrow my nail clippers? I prefer to bite my nails, monsieur. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> why, why not? I found this completion note for the security work done at the gallery. They went against my recommendations. And now my painting has been stolen. I don't suppose you have any use for a match. Why would I? I don't know. I found this paper clip. It's got to be useful for something. I imagine if you have any paper, you can clip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a normal person would think. Um, okay, I guess we're heading out. Or do we call, perhaps? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can we feed him? I fed Trevor a crumb. He loved that biscuit. <laughs> Uh, we still have it left, so we can keep on doing that, I guess. Um, yeah, let's uh, call. Let's call Nico. It would have been stupid to phone Nico while she was sitting opposite me. Yeah, I guess it would, but it would have been fun. Mr. Rickenbacker. What now, Stobart? I've got some interesting news to tell you. Out with it. I found a shredded letter that seems to implicate Henri and some guy named Medovsky. Well, that's one piece of good news. I met a guy called Marquez who claims to be the original owner of the painting. So, I could claim to own it too. This guy has a photo of it from his childhood. He's also got a story about how it was stolen from him during the Spanish Civil War. If that's the case, then the insurance would be invalidated. That's what I thought. So dig a little deeper into that story.
I don't know, there's something weird about, like, playing as an insurance person who wants to get out of paying the insurance. <laughs> um, let's call... Yeah, Your security. security had disconnected their okay. phone. There was no point in calling. How would you know without actually calling first? Hi. How can I help you? My name is George Stobart. I'm investigating a murder that was committed here in Paris. What's that got to do with us? Um. I mean, I don't see why headhunters would have to do with that. The guy so let's we're go this first. was wearing a helmet with Waterloo Motors on it. Oh, yeah. It's a very popular helmet. I don't suppose you know who might have bought one? The killer had a tattoo on his arm. It said, Headhunters. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, he, uh, he bought one of our helmets just the other day. Okay. Terrific. Do you know his name? Nah. He brings his boss's Merc here to have it serviced. Words to the wise, though. Oh, yeah. He don't mess about. The car's registered on Duchy Street, isn't he? I mean, that's all I know, mate. Sorry. No, that's more than enough. You've been a great help. Thanks for your time. Dutchy Street. Bingo. Good work. That has to be the guy. And now we've got his address. How about a trip to London? Hey, how did you hear that? I thought you'd never ask. Senor Marquez, will you be okay here? The bed is uncomfortable. But it will do. Come back quickly with the painting, eh? We'll try. Uh, don't, uh... Don't keep your hopes up. London cabbies. Got a Yay. This is the place. New Here places. I don't think we've been to London before in this series. To afford a place like this in London, you've got to be good at something. Yeah, it's very like central London. So, we clear on how we're going to do this? Yeah. We're two insurance investigators, see? We finoodle our way inside, butter Madovsky up, and then get the dirt on him, right? Finoodle? <laughs> yeah, finoodle. You remember how to finoodle, don't you, Nico? Charles, uh, how could I ever forget? I've never heard that expression in my life, it's but I love it. We're going to need major league finoodling to get this one. You got it. All right, let's finoodle. Uh... Oh, I'm playing as Nico now. Hey, George. What's up? Give me a recap on how to do this. According to Ronnie, Madovsky is the real deal. Coming from Ronnie, that's quite a compliment. If Madovsky is the killer... We need to be careful. Which suggests... I use my Gallic charm? Exactly. Okay. Sure. Um, I don't suppose we can like leave this place. Kind of want to see more of of London. The bush was perfectly shaped. Um, who's the gardener? Oh, can we talk to the gardener? No, the garden gardener. Excuse me. Hello. Use your charm, Nico. Nope, he's just okay. On your bike, darling. This is a private residence. We're here to see Mr. Madovsky. So, um, I am showing you my gum. press card would have blown my yeah. cover. <laughs> um, oh, is that how Madovsky looks? I didn't know. We have important business with Mr. Madovsky. And who the hell might you be? I'm Nico Kalar, and this is my colleague, Georges Stobart. Well, isn't that cozy? Can you count, darling? Yes, of course. Well then, one, I don't know you all laughing boy here from Adam. Two, you ain't got no business round here. And three, I don't like French birds. Comprenez? That's very nice. Hi. 
Guess who? I really need to finish up that what animation, do you don't you? Um. I don't suppose you know Mr. Madovsky's driver, do you? Maybe you didn't hear me the first time. Get lost. Oh, okay, guess this isn't leading anywhere. Uh, let's try the intercom. No answer. Ah, it's locked. Hmm. Hey, George. What's up? Never mind. Come on. Uh, come on. What? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, Ronnie wouldn't have been too pleased to hear that I was chasing after Madovsky. Yeah, I suppose so. Can we like go around and jump this place and then sneak in? Though I guess he would see us. Um, hmm. What do we do here? That lo that sprinkler looked like it might have something to do with something. Um, hmm. Let's talk to him about that uh, last bit that we didn't talk to him about. I kind of assume that we that wouldn't help Hi. us, since uh, he's so what quick to want? shut us down when we start talking to him. Do you work for Mr. Madovsky? No, I'm standing here pruning his edges for a laugh. Of course, I blooming work for him. Look, will you stop asking all these blooming questions? Can't you see I'm busy? Hmm, I'm kind of at a loss here, honestly. So, what, can we, like, break the gate open with the card? I couldn't pop the gate with my press card. The gap was too small. I mean, it feels like we could just, if we want to break in, then we could just break in. That doesn't feel like the biggest hurdle here. Josh looked ready to fanoodle. Yeah, but how do we fanoodle? I don't actually know how to... How to do that. Doesn't feel like there are any... Obvious things to do here. I can see, feel like I've already used up all of my... Um, com combinatory options. Oh, is there anything else we can yes, talk about? What do you want? Oh, okay. We can talk about that now. Nice bush. Bush? This is so much more than just a bush. Oh, I am sorry. It's art love. Or to be precise, topiary. And as everybody knows... Topiary is a transition form. That's right. A statement of man's dominance over nature. A metaphor for the human condition. <coughs> and yet... It's not enough, is it? Not for the big questions. Life, death, <laughs> right and wrong. Tell me about it. You struggle, monsieur? Day and night. That is the human condition. I love his gardening Can we ever outfit. Escape it? Like, it is possible it through does meditation. Certainly not look like a gardener. <laughs> I see. It is our only salvation. Well, you give me food for thought, you have. Any time. Much appreciated. At a difficult time. <laughs> you are welcome, monsieur. So, anyway. This is my latest piece. Tell what me about think? it. I mean, I, I quite like it. It's uh, kind of perfect. It's uh, very nice. Uh, we call it a bird. But? Is it a bird? It's a Russian Imperial Eagle. For the boss. I'm not quite up there with the great Canaius Matthias Calvina yet, but I'm on the flight path, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Thanks, miss. I owe you one. You do? Of course. You've got a rare skill. Thank you. To tell that bushes are shaped like birds. Uh, will you let us in now? We have important business with Mr. Madovsky. I need a good reason to bother the boss with this. He's a busy man. 
I understand. But I think he'll want to speak with us. What makes what you have to say so important? La Maledexio, a painting that belongs to him, has been stolen. If he wants his insurance claim processed quickly, then he'll want to speak with us. I think he might be annoyed if he finds out you never even told him we came around, right? Okay, okay. Hang on, I'll phone him now. Yeah, Mr. Madovsky? Yeah, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go. Yeah, I'm going to have to go. 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 French bird. Yeah. Yes, boss. Right, I will do. <laughs> French bird. You've piqued the boss's interest. That isn't always a good thing. The I'm gate sure should be time. open. I'll take you inside. For now. Follow me, please. Right. Let's see what uh, Mr. Medovsky has in store for us. Mr. Madovsky will be right with you, madame. Well, we're in. Now what? Let's steal everything. We'll make him think we're all set to pay out on the policy. See if we can get him to talk. Well, Sorry, we might well, have Putin well. somehow. Good day, monsieur. My name is Nico Collard. And this is my assistant, Georges Tabar. You are here to discuss La Maledictio, yes? Correct. I am surprised to see you. My agreement with the gallery specified that my ownership should be kept in the strictest confidence. It would appear that agreement has been broken. A man has been killed, monsieur. An agreement is an agreement. I don't know, we're just very good uh, insurance people. Let's be hard. Your life has been lost and a painting stolen, monsieur. We need to ask you a few questions. Bravely put, Miss Collard. So be it. I will cooperate however I can. <laughs> okay, you seem agreeable. How did you come into possession of La Maledictio? I purchased it at auction. We have reason to believe that the theft was an inside job. Oh, that is terrible. The staff at the gallery were so pleasant to deal with, but such is human nature. I trust this won't delay the insurance claim. I'm sure matters will be sorted out soon. Did you know Henri, the gallery owner? Oh, purely on a professional basis. My restorer recommended his gallery to me. Did you ever meet him personally? No, no, only via email. I rarely fly. I'm carbon neutral, you know. <laughs> Very conscientious, monsieur. Well, the planet won't save itself. <laughs> oh, you're right about that, I guess. Um... Do you have receipts for the painting? Of course. I have already sent them to your office. Ah, these things take time to process. What is there to process? I own the painting, someone stole it, and your company provided me with insurance. I am the victim here. A state you share with the deceased, monsieur. I'm not sure how... how it makes sense. Like, if he wanted it to be a secret, then why... Would he be expecting insurance? I don't know. What connection do you have to be? Maybe I'm missing some connection there. I've never heard of it. Sure, you haven't. There is strong evidence that ties you to Vera Security. Oh, you are beginning to sound like a policeman, madame. We are merely doing our jobs, monsieur. We must leave no stone unturned. I would leave this particular stone unturned, if I were you. I That's a good way of making me didn't want think he's, of course. Uh, he's not connected to their security. Again. I would do that. 
your restorer, how does he fit into all this? Hobbs. Well, he did a little cleaning work on La Maladixia, that's all. What is going I on? I think that is enough for now. When do you expect okay. the claim to be paid out? Is someone to grow up long, to the so house or something? When exactly? Surely you can give me a date. Monsieur Medovsky, I'm sure you... Please excuse the interruption, sir. What is it, Shears? Hobbs is here. Tell him I'm busy. He mentioned the uh, portfolio, sir. For pity's sake, can he not just follow simple instructions? Uh, please excuse me. Hobbs, eh? The gardener's called Shears? Yeah, probably not what his mother christened him. <laughs> Are we gonna get some time to actually explore this place now? It feels what a like creep. uh it's gonna be weird creep that they would leave us here, but we got nothing on yeah. it, and he knows it. He just brushed off the Vera connection. We need something mm. else to get under his skin. I'm not sure he brushed it off. <laughs> he tried to like yeah, it's just one man's word against another. Threaten so you, so we do? let's take a look around. Maybe there's something here we can use against him. Good idea, Georges. You search, I'll keep watch at the window. All right, back in control of George, and uh, we're going to end the episode here. Um, next time, I guess we'll search through this uh, whole area. So, until then. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Broken Sword 5. Bye-bye.